Thirty years had passed. Decades without rain. The once fertile plains of Fars had become as barren as the loot salt desert. A few arrow shots from Persepolis. The Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land, no matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory was certain. Until history took a different turn. The seven immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. Onward, immortals! Anahita! Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Let's go, Sargon. Your guard! It's the Russia Bar! Eliminate those Kushan archers. Leave it to me! Come on! 
many did you get? I'll get out of your way, and you can catch up! General must not be far. Let me handle him. Take this. You might need it. Yaviska, you can't hide from me. Shabbat, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first.
come for you. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia, has long left. But should our enemies try to take advantage of the situation, they will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. Thirty years ago, the divine bird Simurg graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people. Today, I, Tomiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Varun, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Hassan, Prince of Persia! Step forward, Sargon. Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar, the black wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Prince Hassan. <sighs> Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish. Long live the House of Tiberius. We owe this victory to you, Reshabar. I am glad you're on our side. Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. I do not believe such stories. I've seen your contribution in battle. That is all that... I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands died on the battlefield. We're out of supply. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know- Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. Thanks, but I have other matters to attend to. You have what it takes to become one of the greatest, Sargon. I know. Oh. And listen to Varum. He will keep you on the right path. I'm telling you, Prince Hassan may be my son! <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He looks nothing like you. He took everything from his mom, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you are really not her type. Whose type? Ah, the kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So... You're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? Or trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. 
You were impressive. If you want to talk more quietly, I won't be far. So, will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. And find what is at the end of my blade. Oh. Sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, sort of. You know, it is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. One of our own eliminated the Kashan general. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> You have always been destined for greatness. And with Sargon's bravery, that's enough. We made the city safe. The people- This is cute, but can we go celebrate now? Our usual haunts has food and drinks on the house. Lorem, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Lorem! Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Kidnappers? They must still be in the palace. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. And the heat is God's. Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. Move out of my way. What the hell was that? Ah, uh, still a child.
And a heater. What is going on? Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Yes, she is. Without a doubt. Barum, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Calf at once in search of Prince Has- Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can- We will not fail you, your Majesty. Bring him back. The old citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon, you know her best. What do you make of it? It doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Oh. What do you even make? The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Calf, and perhaps still... It has always been the Simorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg's blessing like that. We can't be certain. After all, the Simorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure. Prince Hassan is in danger. She will kill him once she has no need for him. Immortals, follow me. Let's help Ardashir and... F <laughs> Wait for me here. Don't worry. Calf. I've been here before. No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of King Darius's palace. Religion, medicine, astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here, accessible to all. Mount Kaf was home to a great citadel of wisdom, the pride of all Persians. And? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might await us? Stay sharp. Prince Hassan can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, man Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. And there's only one way to find out. <laughs> ah, let's go then. Baron, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. We are not welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the Prince and Anahita.
We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. Come <laughs> on. 